Did you say do a funny intro? Yeah, yeah, do a funny intro. <laughs> yeah, do a funny intro, monkey. Yeah, yeah, right? do it. Dance, monkey, yeah. dance. Ha! Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us to accounts because I have the link to the button. Today we got a, another best ever food review show. Um, Good. India. Uh, so how India survives without meat. Delhi's anti-meat street food. Oh. And it's quite easy because a lot of them are just veg. Uh, yeah. It's not uh, hard. No, no, not I was, India. I was actually – I was vegetarian. I remember how long I was vegetarian. It was a long time ago. And I, in all sincerity, as far as like red meat's concerned, how often do you eat actual like beef? How do often do I eat beef? Yeah. Um, maybe like once a week because like if we go go out and get a burger, you know. Yeah, I would say we we maybe maybe once a week we are a. But our predominant protein intake is fish and then chicken. Ninety five percent of our intake is is fish and chicken. That's because you're married to a bongo. I I was that way before that actually. I just I just it's no we for eat, a lot of reasons we eat more chicken and turkey like ground turkey. Mm, yeah, mm. that's actually if I have to use something like if I'm making a spaghetti bolognese, I will almost always use ground turkey. Yeah. Um, my wife is actually, um, allergic to red meat. How did I not know that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's not like going to kill her or anything, but like she ends up like feeling awful after she eats red meat. My mom is that way. So, um, it screws her stomach up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so that we don't typically eat it. Um, so, so she doesn't feel bad. Like we don't do ground beef. We do ground turkey instead and um yeah. it's cleaner obviously that, that way anyway but uh anyways yeah. today, that's not what this is about uh this is about india and how they survive without it uh, anyways uh always how these... do they do it how do you do it anyways uh love these videos uh let's just get into them in this video we'll discover how folks in one of the biggest cities in the world survive without meat but first let's back up Welcome to Delhi, the bustling capital of India and a city with over 13 million vegetarians. But you may be We're asking good. yourself, how can one survive without meat in this busy metropolis? Well, today we'll discover their secret weapon. I'm talking about carbohydrates. Carbs be kuch amount mein to, they are required for the body. Beyond simply pleasing our taste buds, mm. carbs play an important role as an affordable food option for the masses. <laughs> Load. Soon, we'll uncover <laughs> hey. what it takes to fuel one of the largest vegetarian populations in the world. Isn't it's it the largest? Awesome. From Indian pizza, a creation pushing dietary boundaries with its moon doll base. Regular pizzas are there, we consider it a junk, but I don't think this is junk. This is healthy. To a sandwich that commits a carb on carb crime of the highest level. So give the chicken, pigs, cows, and sheep a break and get ready to explore the heaviest carb comfort foods that charge the people of Delhi without a single trace of meat. Carbs, bread usually steals the spotlight. Across the globe, we've got a smorgasbord oh, of bread types. I love but bread. None are quite as flaky as the spectacle you're about to witness. Oh, yeah, tear it apart with your fingers. <laughs> Introducing Chur Chur Naan, or scrunched up bread. This innovative take on naan is extra special because after the bread is baked, the chef crumples it up, giving birth to an extra flaky texture that'll blow your taste buds away. Oh. 
seen that before. Like every other bread adventure, a Tor in... Tor Non story kicks off with the magic dough made from water, maida, a type of white flour made in the Indian subcontinent, ghee or clarified butter, and curd, a fermented dairy product from India. Portion the dough into fist-sized balls as fingers press to create its round shape. Now, inside goes the filling, made from paneer, a traditional Indian cheese. Then there's the butter, sesame seeds, and garlic. Flatten it by hand and place it in the tandoor oven until it's golden brown. Mmm. Oh, so hungry. Ugh. Take it out and smear it with a gigantic brick of butter. Oh, take it out and smear it. Like a bikini model <laughs> on a hot summer day or like Dwayne the oh Rock Johnson's God. forehead. <laughs> Time to smash. Oh, my God. Serve with chole, a type of chickpea curry, onion salad, chutney, and raita, a yogurt-based condiment filled with herbs and veggies. Uh, have you ever used a yogurt-based condom? Yes. You've got the flaky, crispy, and golden brown exterior, Ugh. and the pillowy, melt-in-your-mouth flavors inside. This dish is a play of textures. With every bite, experience a satisfying crunch, followed by comforting oh, tenderness from the fillings intertwined Ugh. with hearty chickpea curry. Uh. <laughs> I hope you didn't have headphones in everybody. Carbs have had a bad reputation lately. Every internet guru says it's all empty calories. Really? But not all carbs are cut from the same cloth. Or, I mean, uh, Correct. dough. Get ready for a contradiction to the typical carb dilemma, courtesy of this small deli based food stall. You and carbs, soon, folks. you may even witness healthy carbs. <laughs> this is Moong Dal Pizza, Delhi's favorite carb creation made from a superfood. Oh my god. Mung beans. These unsung heroes are rich in protein, nutrients, and great for digestion. In this stall, they use these beans to prepare like everything a healthier Indian version is of great a traditional for pizza. <laughs> On a heated pan, pour in the batter made from mung beans and rice flour. Once the shell is golden, split it into eight pieces and open it up from the middle, revealing the plush soft inside. Plush, soft Next, inside. add our delicious toppings. Diced purple onions, crisp green bell peppers, and sweet carrots. But it's not a pizza party without the cheese. Am I right? Cute, the grated mozzarella, and a few triangles of oh. melted cheese. <laughs> Fold the pizza back together and oh. watch the cheeses mingle and melt inside. I need the oh fuck out of that. Goodness. Add an unforgiving <laughs> drink of butter on top and give it a flip. Yes! Gifted a few more slices of melted oh cheese, goodness. followed by this crunchy mixture. Body. Cover the pan with another pan, creating an Indian oven. <laughs> Once everything is melted, it's time to enjoy. Oh, this may God. be the healthiest Amazing. pizza in wow. all of India. The outside is slightly crispy with a hint of green bean flavor, while the inside is like a mosh pit of cheeses and raw vegetables. You will not soon forget this carb decision. This is a pizza you could only find created in the minds of folks here in Delhi. That looks amazing. Ugh. Fritters are among the most loved street foods around the world, with each culture adding their own unique twist. Usually they're simple, bite-sized treats made from a batter with veggies or meats and deep fried to perfection. Right mm. now, we're venturing to a mom and pop restaurant in Delhi that takes fritters to a whole new size. I'm talking 10 times bigger than any fritter you've ever seen before. 
बार हाफ फ्राई होता है वे एक बार उसको फुल करते हैं फ्राई बाकी उसमें पनीर पीस नहीं लेकर जाए उसको एक बार फिर से तीन तीन बार फ्राई करते हैं ऑयल फ्री होता है क्रिस्पी होता है उसके साथ सब्जी देते हैं आलू छोले दोनों देते हैं कार्ड देते हैं साथ में उसके और कचालू का अचार होता है साथ में Elephant ear plant. Wheat, paneer yeah, pakoda. So. Now pakoda is not just any word. Its roots go way back, with mentions dating as far back as 1025 before Christ. It's not just a dish. It's a crispy golden nugget of history. <laughs> Begin with grated That's boiled potatoes. That's an old potatoes grater. <laughs> carby base. Season with garam masala, turmeric powder, salt, coriander powder, and red chili powder. Toss in a splash of hing water, also known as stinking gum or the devil's dung. This funky liquid, extracted oh. from the roots of farula plants, is like a secret weapon in Indian kitchens, boosting flavors and preventing digestive hiccups. In another pot, I've heat up never heard of that. Toss in yeah, cumin I... and green chili. Then add our potato blend and fresh coriander leaves. Now take a slice of bread and generously fill it with our yummy mixture. Between two pieces of toast goes a big chunk oh. of paneer. Press it together to keep all the goodness inside. Then dip it in a batter made from graham flour, turmeric powder, red chili, and salt. Triple fry this creation in hot oil for that maximum crunch factor. Then serve with potato curry and pickles. And then the paneer is all melty on the inside. Oh my God! That's our potato amazing. filling oh my is the God. spicy. <laughs> aromatic heart of this dish. The big chunk of paneer oh. provides a strong taste of tangy oh. cheese, while the fried graham flour batter blesses us with a satisfying crispy shell. Your mom satisfies me with a crispy shell. Hot dogs are usually synonymous with meaty delights, but almost 40% of India's entire population follows a vegetarian diet. Okay. Faced with this challenge, this man ingeniously crafted a veggie version of this popular street food using hearty potatoes. Buckle up for our next like adventure sloppy at Joe an hot dog. innovative food stall that's flipping the script on hot dogs. मेरे को हो गए काफी टाइम हो गए इन डॉग के लिए तो है ही मशहूर ये और जो एक बार यहाँ पे पाव भाजी खा लेगा दोबारा वो और कहीं नहीं जाएगा इनका स्वाद जो है डिफरेंट है किसी को बना ही नहीं पाया आज तक कोई टेस्ट कईयों ने ट्राई किया इनका कॉपी करने की पर आज तक सब फेल हो गए बिगिन बाय फ्राइंग अप अनियंस विद बटर ऑन अ हॉट टावा Crush some paneer on top, then add red chili powder and salt. Mix well before adding our hot dog filling. A blend of potatoes, tomato puree, ginger, garlic paste, and pav bhaji masala. Then cut the hot dog bun in half and slather the top with coriander chutney and the bottom with tamarind chutney. Top it with a few slices of tomato, more paneer, and red onions. Add a dash of pav bhaji masala and some lemon juice. Follow that with oh. tandoori mayonnaise, a few slices of cheese, and our filling. <laughs> to finish, melt butter on the tawa and let our hot dog soak it up. Hey, there's no dog in there. It looks more like the a sloppy joe. It's a sloppy joe. It looks soap. delicious, Inside, though. Inside, you're in for a real treat. A hearty, spiced potato filling, generously coated with a medley of sauces, <laughs> creating a mind-blowing harmony of tangy and sweet flavors. A dollar. Wow. Good Lord. In the world of culinary audacity, our next masterpiece culinary probably audacity. claims the throne as the most indulgent crime in gastronomic history. <laughs> a burger stuffed with a fried potato <laughs> patty and slathered in chickpea curry. Get ready for the king of indulgence. Meet the Chole Tiki Burger. This is the ultimate oh. combination of India's most loved treats. So let's break it down. First, we have Chole, a type of chickpea curry that's commonly served with kulcha, a traditional Indian fried bread. Second, Tiki, also known as Aloo Tiki, a popular snack made from a fried potato patty. Then finally, there are the burger buns to bring everything together. Start by mashing a few potato balls and frying them up. Then we fry up the burger buns. 
split the bun in half and place the potato patty inside, along with slices of red onions and tomatoes. Now cut it into a dozen pieces and put it on a plate. Slather everything with a few scoops of chole curry. Finish with coriander chutney, tamarind chutney, and sliced red onion. Wow, that looks amazing. Mmm. Mm. This dish is the epitome of carb loading. Your heart may protest, but if it soldiers <laughs> through, a cozy nap awaits. The chole is thick and hearty. The potato patty offers a slight crunch. The tomatoes help cut through the heavy flavors, and the oh, burger, yeah. well, the burger, makes everything better. Good grief. Now that we've tried five spectacular carb-loaded oh, deli God. dishes, it's time to choose the one that makes cheating on your keto diet totally worth it. Was it the flaky churchur naan, the healthy moong dal pizza, uh, the cheese stuffed uh, pakoda, the vegetarian paneer hot dog, or uh, the sinful chole tiki burger? The one I'm choosing today is the Paneer Pakoda. Not only was it stuffed with giant cheese blocks that could block your arteries, like New York rush hour traffic, but they triple fried that bad boy, <laughs> making it the ultimate crunchy comfort food. So how about you? Which one of these Indian coma-inducing carb mountains would you try? Drop your answer in the comments downstairs. And for more indulgent feasts for your senses, be sure to subscribe to Best Ever Food India. Wow. That was amazing. Oh, I'm so hungry. Ugh. Like, I, if I was in Delhi, I'd be like, oh, okay, uh, take me to all of them right yeah. now. Um, yeah. I'm so sad we had so little time in each place because um, there's so me many more too. things I wanted to do, so many more places I wanted to see and eat. And But, we, like, our, our trip to India was jam-packed, just to the brim. Um, yeah, trying to get as much done in as little time as possible. And I felt like we did get a lot, but there's so much more. We did we, get a lot done. Yeah. But we didn't get everything done, including a bunch of food stuff that I wanted to do that we didn't get done. Uh, no, but there, yeah, the miss, the misconception, it's, it's a, interesting because the whole carb thing. Mm hmm. And, and it's like calories too. It says that carbs, you, you need, you need, your body needs them. Um, not mine <clears throat> and and calories but there's there's a difference in the in the in those kinds of things that you you take in um and i've been paying really you know and johnny and i aside from the health aspects of it i don't think it's a coincidence that the foods that typically fall under the more healthy things to eat are also typically the best things for the environment mm. which is not a not a surprise and that's something that i i think about a lot it's why i limit i mean you should limit your red meat intake anyway because it's just not good for you to have it. You do need – there are th some things that need to be done for, 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 you know, especially for anybody who has an iron deficiency. And you can take iron deficiency supplements and things like that. But um, um, that's that's something that I've watched a couple of documentaries on. And aside from the fact just our food industry in America is an abomination. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. Um, I, there's, you could, how long <laughs> you could spend your whole life just experiencing different types of food in India. Oh yeah. I'm not kidding. You're, you could spend a lifetime just experiencing all the different kinds of foods that are available in India. Yeah. It's, it's really insane. Um, but yeah, that I was, want to eat uh, every one of those yeah, things. Yeah, me too. That was, that was so good. Anyways, if there's other videos we can react to, please let us know what they are. And uh, if you've tried any of these, please let us know down below. Josh!